Hi everybody, I'm Samantha from Lemon in the Sea and I'm so excited that you've joined me here today. We are going to be talking about three easy ways to improve your branding. So every business and everybody has a brand. If you are in a creative field, you have a brand that you're putting out there to the world and you need to have that brand reflect who you are you need to have that brand be consistent so that whenever you're meeting someone new or you're talking about what you do they can go and look it up online they can check out your business card and everything looks like it belongs to the same person this is especially important if you have like a one person business it's really a reflection of who you are and so your branding is so important and it's really important to make sure that it's the best that it can be. So if you're trying to do this yourself or if you're trying to work with a designer, you really have to start with a couple of things. First, you have to keep your brand simple. You're going to want to pick three or four colors that you use consistently across every platform. So my colors for Lemon in the Sea are teal, yellow, and gray and I actually have the hex codes for each of those so no matter where I am working I know exactly what my colors are and I can make that happen anywhere I can change colors online I can change them in a word document or I can change them in my images I know what I'm working with so I can use those colors no matter what I'm doing you can add a couple other colors that you use to give it a little bit of pop I have a bright pink that shows up sometimes and that's just something that I can use when I need a little bit of something special uh, but I always use that same color instead of mixing and matching depending on what I feel like that day that is going to make your brand look a whole lot more professional than if you use every color in the rainbow just depending on what you made that day the other thing is to pick two fonts now you're gonna want one font that's got a little bit more pizzazz. It reflects uh, your business, and you can use this in your logo, in your header, as just some way to bring a little bit of pop to your text. And you're gonna wanna pick one font that is simple, easy to read, and you can use in the body of anything that you're creating. The second tip is to pick a pattern. So. I like to custom design patterns for my clients that are based on their brand story and their brand colors and then they can use that in whatever uh, media they want. A lot of times we use it on print documents as a border or as a header so having a specific pattern for your business gives you another graphic element to play with but it's always consistent so you don't have to worry about looking like a little kid picked out a bunch of random shapes and put them together depending on what he felt like in the morning. You can pick a simple pattern that people already use. You could pick a chevron or stripes or polka dots and just tailor that to your brand using your colors and uh, the image sizes that you need or you can have somebody custom design a pattern for you. I really like having something custom to me so that I know nobody else has it, it's really going to stand out and it's going to be recognizable. The third thing is keep it consistent. You want to use your branding elements across every platform. You want them on your website, on your social media, on any graphics you make, anything you post to Pinterest or Twitter. You want people to recognize your brand no matter where you are. You're also going to want to use them in your print materials, your business cards, your invoices, your client interest forms, your pricing sheets. There's so many items that go into running a business and you're going to want to use your branding on all of those. So you need to make sure that you know your colors and your fonts and your pattern so that you can use them no matter what you're creating. And that way, when people see your website and they see your print documents, they know that they belong together. They know that they belong to you and your business. And this is a really, really great way to help you stand out. And it's super simple. You just go through, pick colors, pick fonts, pick a pattern, and then use them to design everything that you're doing. And you can do this yourself through 
uh, Google Docs or any of the Adobe programs, or you can hire somebody to do it for you. I've got some examples on my portfolio of branding that I did for different businesses that gives them a really unique look in their uh, printed materials and online to help them stand out from their competition.